Friday at 6 a.m. on Market Watch, you're going to get the chance to pick up the digital double field center set. Yes, that is two field centers, front door shipped for $30. Actually, these little bundles are some of the most insane deals that we actually come up with. And this will be wrapping up the end of the year here. So I'll leave a link down below so you can add this to your wish list to be ahead of the curve to know when it is in stock and when it is time. All right, let's pass on over to Market Watch, shall we? Make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button and you know don't be like one of the 34 percent of you guys that are not make sure you please smash it and show some love so um are any of you any of you surprised to know that cerule guru of the dark world has 33 listings on the market today well um your whole first page is like heavy play and mod play and then you're gonna hit like a, a dollar two dollars three dollars for Cerule. Now, if you, if you don't know, this did get a reprint as a common, but more and more people are kind of looking around. They're like, ooh, like, I can pick up some bling for my <laughs> for my Dark World deck. Um, to be fair, this is the guy that causes a lot of the interactions that um, basically helps your strategy out in terms of the Dark World department for the more BS sorts of things for you to get to do, but from where I'm sitting right now, um, seeing that these are starting to disappear in terms of quantity is absolutely hilarious in my personal opinion. Next up here is the Grinning Grave Virus, oh boy. Hey, there are 55 listings of this, you can pick up Italian copies here at $1.39 plus 99 cents, which is not that horrible at the end of the day, but your, your quantities on these, um, they have been going down. Um, good news is basically another two dollars. I guess the early theme in, on this market watch is the fact that you have a lot of cheap cards that have semi low quantities on the market. I mean, structure deck layer darkness. You, you should be no no stranger to seeing what this structure. Twenty five dollars for Italian no packaging. Thirty five for sealed deck only, and then on up to fifty bucks for this. No, no, I don't think I will. Diabolsis are four bucks. Okay, I mean EVs. EVs are two dollars from the structure deck. Okay, and tour guides are dollar fifties. Sure, your token is actually like two to three dollars. What? That's crazy. I guess token shenanigans are back at it again. The allures are back at two dollars. I, I I don't know what it is. Every time you look through these market watches, you always tend to see the same thing. Like. Over time, Allure of Darknesses start to regain that value and two dollars plus shipping for an Allure or for an Allure of Darkness. Hmm. You know that's that's kind of interesting. That's all I'm saying. Uh danger cards. Uh, you know we've seen Nessie doing Nessie things. I mean they they're going down, but you can see here your first it's thirty dollars, thirty dollars, forty dollars. I can get a light play for twenty-two. That's not awful. It's by far not amazing. Thirty bucks. Yeah. So these are going right back up and doing their thing. No real shocker there. Um, Suji Nokos. Oh, man, these are hundred listings up right now for these. These have been spinning down to nineteen dollars. You know, twelve bucks, eighteen dollars. Yeah. For the most part, your your Suji Nokos are pretty much doing their thing. Um, Bigfoot's coming in at $12, $14, yeah, 15 bucks still for first dead copies of Bigfoot. So nothing really has changed too much in the danger department. Mothman's calming down finally. Uh, the real one I wanted to point out here is Chupacabra. Your structure deck, Sacred Beast, it's now a $5, has this officially made the Sacred Beast structure deck? worth money. God, that is such an uptick. Five dollars for a common. Five dollars for a common chupacabra. Alright. These structure decks are officially thirty-seven dollars now. Yeah, and people said the Sacred Beast structure deck wasn't worth it years later. God, look at that. Wow, the Awakening of the Sacred Beast is a three dollar card. Fallen Paradise is a dollar to two dollars. Chaos Hunter is going up. The Pod Desires are two dollars. If you bought Sacred Beast structure decks, hell man. He was made out like a literal bandit. The fact that this is now money is kind of interesting. Okay, sure. Uh, Dianaz, are we are we really seeing this? 55 listings, 167, 113. All right, well, those aren't too crazy, but I guess your premium gold versions are moving along. God, that's an uptick. 
Except for the first ad, uh, three dollars, seven dollars, and two dollars. Uh, what's available down here? Three bucks, three dollars, and he had the six dollar mark for first edition copies. You know, I shouldn't be surprised that the gold versions of these are on their way out the door in terms of quantity. Um, it definitely makes sense. We saw the Myra Melio Melli, uh, buyout for the Astro Packs earlier in the week. As you saw your uptick in those, as once again, more and more people are looking towards the meadow right now, going, well, you know, Trap Tricks are coming out, you know. I kind of want to pick up some more, you know, blingish cards at the end of the day. That, that's fine, all right? But if you're, if you're really shocked and, like, shock Pikachu facing right now, Got $250 for premium gold return of the bling. That's crazy. The Exodia pieces are some of your most value in here. God, all the Exodia pieces are on the first page. Okay, I mean, the Gale in here too. You know, this set is not as spectacular as it used to be, obviously, but this is a very solid $2 cards across the board in this bad boy. Okay, well, once again, keep an eye on your Trap Trick stuff. The market's continuing to do its thing. I'm not even shocked about that. Oh, dice a vortex dragon. Um, twenty-five bucks, twenty-seven dollars, and twenty-seven dollars here for these. But uh, here's the thing: there's only three listings or three pages of these, um, and they're still like twenty-eight dollars for the most part. But for whatever reason, we uh, these just. They continue to go up, so I, I guess this is just kind of one of those warnings that if any, if anything happens to, you know, set this card off, you will see this card going into outer space. At least you're lucky enough at this point that you can still pick this up relatively cheap, and I mean, it, it is definitely one of the greater opportunities to be able to pick this up. Same thing here with Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon here. First, these have actually been orbiting up pretty hard here. Twenty dollars, twenty bucks, and then twenty-four. Or like your last sold listings for these, you can get an unlim for eleven bucks, which is not even that bad, honestly. Uh, get an Italian one for twenty, and then you hit the thirty, thirty-two, thirty-five dollar mark here, per se, which once again is not horrible. But you already know how your market, like I just said, it's going to take one to two things to send this stuff into orbit, and you're just you're just going to be like, what happened? Well, why why did? Yeah, uh, news reporter has gone up to ten dollars for the secret rare. sneak peek version is at fifteen dollars. Uh, Dark World structure deck just touched down into the TCG. You shouldn't be surprised in the least to hear that news reporter has gone up. This is literally one of the best like extension slash triggers to get for the deck, right? The fact that you can kind of climb up and then, you know, stop by this along the way and be like, oh, you know, I can go ahead and pseudo combo on up. Um, not really shocking. Seeker password, three or 37 listings for these. And they're at like three dollars. It just adds a live twin or evil twin spawn trap card from your deck to your hand. And if you control a Kishi skill or a Lilla monster, you get an evil twin monster from your deck to your hand instead. Um, these not really much of a crazy ramp up here. Four dollars, three dollars, and four dollars here. But for the most part, um, you're seeing basically four dollars. Um, this card's pretty much played Dodge the Reprint game for a little while, so I'm not surprised to see the uptick in this right now, honestly. Cameo Wizards got created off the face of the planet, too. Ah, oh, man. Instant fusion, ready fusion targets. It's a spellcaster. You already know your generalized application with this. Like, shenanigans. Psy Beast. Um, somebody sold some for 50 cents a piece. It's interesting. $18 and $17 here. Uh, the listings have repopulated since the last time we saw these, but still, $17 to $18 for this. Not exactly the most desirable thing to be paying money for. Fluffle cards. Stupid bears are still $10. Sheep shadow foils is still 3 bucks. Penguins are still like $2. Octopuses is basically $2 still. These are still dollars. Why aren't fluffle cards are still worth it? I'll be darned. Okay, okay. Book of Lunar Eclipse. Cheap listing here for 80 bucks, and then we're back to 100 Uh Astro Pack books have calmed down. This is a good chance if you want to pick up some of these to do so. Um, I highly recommend for cash tier format, honestly. Shatterfoils going back down. Ultras, very, very cheap right now. 
So, very good to see that. And last but not least, Baron de Floor. I love announced reprints. Oh man, and they're going right back up. Oh my gosh. 77 bucks is on up to 80 is kind of where you're sitting right now for these. So still pretty much middle ground here. So what do you think about today's market? Please, so comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.